Lucas Jones, and I am a Canadian and German citizen. Um, I was working in aerospace in Canada for several years. Uh, before that, I was in physics. I guess I got tired of aerospace and I started traveling, and that's when I heard about data science through my brother, who was an alumni of uh, Batch 13. And yeah, I, uh, as soon as I heard about it, I realized that it was exactly what I'm interested in. When I was younger, I was interested in artificial neural networks and like the language has changed. It's called data science and machine learning now, but it's exactly what I was interested in when I was younger. The teaching environment is very social, so you have the opportunity to talk to your teachers about your project and uh, ask them for help with it. They can mentor you and uh, they're very forthcoming, willing to um, allow you to contact them outside of the course. Uh, my project has to do with generating fake satellite imagery and the goal is to have a, an educational uh, tool that allows you to scroll back in time and see how the world looked like actually see the satellite imagery, faked satellite imagery um, from the past and that would be the context for teaching about history. And so you could actually use this in a classroom setting where you, where you actually present uh, how the world would have looked in Roman times for instance. For this project I realized that a large part of the problem would be to find data Eventually, I found out about uh, Google Earth Engine, which essentially curates all of your data for you. Yeah, generating my data was just a matter of writing scripts. The idea is really to make a platform to allow people interested in history to add information. Yeah. DSR, they teach us how to make scalable systems. It wouldn't be hard to set up a server on the cloud, several microservices on the cloud, to make a scalable system to render the globe, to have a to query a database of historical facts, to have a some sort of interface to allow people to collaborate on it. It's complicated, but it can be broken down into parts. And 